friends, and welcome to today's episode. Today's episode is all about the diesel engine. The diesel engine. We're doing a lesson today with the diesel mechanic. We'll introduce you to him when he's here. He's on his way. He also lives on a sailboat, and I'll let him share about that. But we want to learn about the diesel engine, right? Yes, how to change the oil, what about the coolant, belts, everything we need to know. I know the, nothing. Yeah, and all the things we don't know <laughs> exactly. that we don't know. <laughs> so I see rust on the engine. I want to know about that. Um, we think it's burning oil, but is it really? When you're sailing offshore, you're out there for multiple days, what spare parts do you need? What can you actually mm -hmm. fix on the run? How's the fuel work? The whole nine yards. We're going to go through it. We're going to spend four hours with the diesel mechanic. And he's going to show us everything we should know. Crash. Welcome to the crash course. <laughs> All right, here's Blake, the diesel mechanic, good friend of ours. And um, what sailboat do you yep. live on? Uh, we have a 1983 Ericsson 38. Awesome. Um, we bought it six years ago and have been doing a six year refit on her. So we're gearing up, uh, same as the Fosters, and getting ready to leave in a couple months. So it's so crunch time. It is, it's crunch time. So we're going to do diesel engine work, you yep. learn a lot. So what's your background in diesel engines? Um, I've been a mechanic for going on 19 years now. So I started my career with Mercedes-Benz and they had lots of diesels in the 80s and 90s. And then I kind of progressed into heavy equipment. So large construction equipment, dozers, excavators, stuff like that. So I uh, worked in the oil field for a couple years. So I'm not a, uh, uh, how do you say it? Like a, I don't specialize in one gotcha. specific diesel, yeah. you know. So I kind of have a broad knowledge of all of them. So it's a little 40 horsepower, should be nothing. Piece of cake, brother. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's get to it. All right, let's do it. So this is a cutaway of the cylinder. Your boat is four cylinders. This shows four cylinders, but this is, <laughs> this is really what's happening in a single cylinder. So the four strokes is suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. Okay. All right. So when you, this is a four cylinder, I mean, it is a four cylinder. This is just showing each step of the four stroke cycle. Okay. So each piston would be going through this Whole four thing. steps at all at the same time. He's gonna, he's gonna blow us up. So this is the glow plug. The ground. Positive, right? So, turn the battery on. Now, if you hit the key switch to activate the glow plug, you can go one, oh. two, it's already smoking. three, four, five, <gasps> six. Oh, it's seven, like magic. Eight. You can smell it. <laughs> it smells like a uh, air, hot iron or something. That's it. That's a lot of heat, man. So, that's it. So, that's only when just when you start the engine when it's cold okay. so that gives it a little bit of heat inside this to help when the air gets compressed it will ignite Theory we're going to start off with the impeller change <laughs> so we're going to go through the whole uh, raw water system starting with the raw water filter or strainer okay. and we're going to change an impeller and we'll go through the uh, cooling diagram of how it dissipates the heat cool all right so here so this is your raw water pump. Okay. And see these little screws here? Mm -hmm. Here, there's four of them. Can you see that? Yeah. We're gonna take those loose, pull that plate off, and the impeller will be right behind there. Okay. You got it? I do. Do you want him to show good? you? Is it good? <laughs> oh, there's it's water like, coming out. Yeah, is it okay? okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're floating, look, you're sinking the boat. I'm gonna sink the boat. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna sink the boat. I panic a lot, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, Nancy, don't drop it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And if that plate. So look at that. <clears throat> like, feel that with your hand? See how it's got a groove in it? Mm hmm. These are replaceable. These are actually a maintenance wear item. Okay. Really? Like Sometimes they're years? reversible, and it usually says on them. So you can, once this gets worn out, you can flip it over. Okay. Or flip it over and use this side. I don't think this is. Is that groove worn in or machined in? It's worn in. Oh, because really? It, there we go. See this O-ring right this here? This brown one? Yep. I want you to 
pry that out of there. We almost got there. There it goes. Over Bingo. Me. Okay, pull that out of there. Good job, girl. Side. Looks like you need one of these. Nice tool, Snoops. It's good. But you want to roll them with your hand, like each blade. We probably did that, so this is trash now. But they'll split right here. Start cracking yep. now. So you just want to inspect these. We could have used it as a spare. I got a little rough with the uh, removal and yeah. put a hole in one of them. How was the O-ring and the impeller? How was that? Uh, well, the impeller went back on really easy, but the O-ring was a little bit difficult. Oh, was it hard for you? It wasn't hard for me. It was hard for them. <laughs> I All right, watched. Blake, what's happening now? <laughs> All right, so we're just uh, starting with the fuel system inspection. And so we're going to start at the beginning, the fuel tank. Cool. Uh, let's see. So let's start here. This is going to go out to your deck fill, where you fill mm -hmm. fuel at the pump. This is a vent. So as you're filling it at the station, usually they'll give you uh, like a little absorbent pad mm -hmm. and somewhere there's a vent on the outside and right. mm -hmm. as it gets full, it'll start kind of spitting fuel out of there. So you just want to make sure that there's no leaks around here. Um, inspect the hoses regularly. This is the inspection plate. So you can take these screws off. If you suspect like mm -hmm. maybe there's some junk in your fuel, you can access this. You'd probably want to do it when the tank's half. Yeah. Full, you know, you don't want to open this, and then it, oh my God, it does look like the tank is slightly raised right here, which is nice, gives it a little elevation. Um, there's probably a gasket or some silicone. I wouldn't open this up, it's not leaking now. You can see it's real dry. I wouldn't open this up just to for your curiosity because yeah. it's really hard to get these things to seal back. Um, and it's gonna but slosh, so. if you did have some junk in the fuel or you suspect and you needed to you can open this up you can clean the surfaces and when you go back together you could put some silicone and clean it up cool. and you could get in there and suck out whatever it is algae growth or mm. whatever but if you keep good clean fuel in it you shouldn't have any issues cool um so you're gonna have on this tank you have four ports two supplies and two returns so one supplies the engine, one supplies the generator, return for the engine, return for the generator. Okay, when you pull this out, try to pull it out pretty slow and twist at the same time. There it goes, and then go right in here. Let some of that fuel drip out. Now that thing is dirty. Oh, see that? See how it's black? Someone hasn't been changing their filters. Who's that, Nance? Who's in charge? Who's this. in charge of fuel filters? Matt. <laughs> we didn't what the heck? So it's just uh, black from sediment. Yep. What you, you sometimes you'll push and then it'll it'll go in real fast and it'll hit that fuel and it splashes every. So just kind of put even pressure and twist it and then go down even so we don't make a mess. Careful on nuts. Uh, I usually stick myself with those. So if that if that seal gets old or cut or you don't replace it, see how it's kind of it's kind of funky looking. Yeah. Um, it'll start sucking air, and it won't take much. Very yeah. Enough. And then the same thing with that one. Kind of pry it on one side. And this is not a round o-ring it's squared so press it in there and make sure it didn't get um it doesn't roll all right so this is the bleeder screw yep this is the manual what do you call it lift pump manual lift pump right here so it's manual by your hand lever and then when the engine's running it's pumping too so the uh, fuel filter change Gross. Gross? But how was <laughs> the actual my hands. process? Oh, it was very easy. I felt like a pro. Moisturizes the cuticle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably going to make my hands stink all day. So the primary filter is the easiest one. All right, secondary fuel filter. This is the last filter of defense before fuel goes into the injection pump. So it's, so some people will pre-fill this filter with fuel, but it's not best practice because you run the risk of getting sediment or trash or something into the injection pump and then into the injectors. So we are going to 
put the filter on dry, and then prime it with the self-priming lever. That's good. And that's the best way to do it. It's not the fastest, it's not the easiest, but it's the right way. I think after a full rotation, it'll catch. Yeah, that's not easy. Let's see. What am I missing there? Whoa, Sorry. no. You no. want to do that again? <laughs> no, hold on. That was, that was too easy. Yeah, I do this every day. So, look oh, at that. See? So, I had it from this I angle, I had it the wrong angle. I think sometimes when you do it with two hands, that you yeah. can kind of create it off balance. Or sometimes what I'll do is hold it with one finger and then spin it with That's the other. That's what it was. I was. <laughs> I was That's pulling awesome. it, pulling it to the side. This is just hand yeah. tight. Uh, this one we want to be uh, fairly tight, like it's snug. about as tight as you can get it with your hands. Do a little more. Yeah. There we go. First so you thing. Open the valve. Nancy, gonna do the valve. Okay. Let's see if you remember where that is. It's on the tank. And I'm oiling the camera really nicely. It's gonna oh, have nice. a nice diesel sheen to it. <laughs> Keep going. Was it that way? Yep. You're going right. Nuts. There's this one and mm -hmm. then the one on the top. So just the top one will spin. If both of them are starting to spin, we need to hold that one. Okay. So just the top one. A hole in them. So that's a copper, copper crush washer. Mm -hmm. um, if it leaks, you can replace that. You can pry that out of there. But it should be okay. So when we loosen it, That's hand tight, and that's just a couple turns, just like that. Okay. So that'll be it. And not standard, so probably a twelve. As it gets full, it'll kind of change. Change sounds. Sounds. Okay, so now we know how to do that. Let's let's give a couple. We have the big hand bowl. Yeah. I just wanted to. No, that's cool. That's important. I've never I've heard about that. And if you, this is also important. You see how you can you felt a little resistance. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. The bubble's coming out. She missed it again. You can hear it, too. Nancy, are you pumping? Go ahead. Oh, you hear me pumping? Yeah. <clears throat> Let me, uh... <clears throat> See that little bulb back here? Hand pump. No! <laughs> you can't that way. I can't Oh, then I'll just... Oh, it's dripping over now. Okay. You're gonna keep going. Do you see any air bubbles? I don't. Not like we saw earlier. Or is, it, is the fuel still coming out? I don't see any more. Yep, it's leaking out now. Okay. I see it dribbling over the edge. Look at that. Ooh, what's that? We need to. I get. We. I get, Oh, I see. I see. Was it too tight? Yeah. The screw was too tight. Yeah. See all that? That's you. Might, and you would think, well, that's not really that much air. It is crazy. Just the little bit of air in the fuel line. It, you can crank all day long and it will never start. Oh, Keep well, once one pump, Keep it going. does a lot. Yeah. Keep going. Cool. So now. There should be no air in there now. We're going to put this. A lot of times, too, let's say that we didn't bleed this good enough. The engine will start and run and it'll run for about five seconds and then die. And there's air in here. So we've replaced the impeller in the water. Water pump, raw water pump, raw water pump and the, the ring in there. And then we replace the primary fuel filter, but before you do that, you have to turn off the tanks, turn off the lines on the tanks. We replace the primary fuel filter and the rings, and then we replace the secondary oil fuel filter. The oil filter. The oil filter, fuel filter, and then we turn the tanks back on, and then we bled the lines. Blood lines, blew Perfect. some bubbles. At that point, you would kind of go over a thing in your head just like you did. Okay, we've replaced everything. Do we have, did we open the the seacock? Yes, check. Did we open up the fuel valves? Yes, check. And just kind of go through that in your head. Is the engine ready to start? Yes. We're starting the engine to check our work. And if it doesn't start? Then Blake's got some work to do. <laughs> Wait a second, we are the ones who bled the fuel line. Yeah. This is true, but he showed us how. Okay. Are right, you ready? Let's hear it. Purrs like a kid. Where's your exit at? Over here. <gasps> See, just got air in it. I could hear it. It sounded weird. So, try to start it. Let's do this. So, 
if you push this, it's just throttle only, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there, I hear a difference. Right there, it sounds like it's gonna die. Out of the Good now. I'm good? Yep. Where's your mic? You know what? I think it's been starving for fuel. It's never sound like this. You think that filter? It could have been, yeah. It's never been this smooth. Oh, man. It's never sounded. Yeah, let's leave it running. We'll come down and check the leaks. No, it's never been this smooth before. They usually do, 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 it rumbles do, 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 do. more. Could if it's starving for fuel a little bit, it'll the RPMs will come down. Yes, and it'll yes. it'll be a little. Uh, you'll feel a little bit more vibration. So, it never sounded that tight when it started. It's always yeah. been kind of a, a loose rumble. Now it just starts right up. Hi, bye bye. All right. What are you gonna do during the lesson, Mocha? Right you gonna lay right there? Okay, give a kiss. Give a kiss. Aww. That's a wrap. Let's get some food.